What's up guys, we got a, another Les Paul refinish. This is a Les Paul Classic 100. Took it apart, it has got an ugly seafoam green or light turquoise finish on it. We're actually gonna sand this off and most likely do a purple. That's what the customer wants, maybe a green. I thought it would look really good with a blue, but he is not a blue fan. I actually think this is 2K finish. I don't think this is a standard lacquer. It's way thicker than a normal finish. I'm not 100% sure. Actually, as I peel off a piece here, I definitely think it's 2K. It's gonna take a lot of sanding and a stripper to get this clean. It has got a beautiful top. The figure on this top is amazing. So this will take a color really nice. A dark color will look really cool. We'll get a lot of figure to pop. But this is just a quick intro on this project, a refinish of a Les Paul 100 with I think a 2K finish. Nice chunky neck, way chunkier than a standard classic. Classics usually have that slim taper. This feels a little bit thicker, but we'll go ahead Start sanding this off, getting it clean. I bought some lacquer thinner. See if we can pull some of this off with lacquer thinner. I don't think we're going to. We're gonna actually set this up for a standard Les Paul wiring switch. We'll drill this out, but really cool project. This will look outstanding. Couple dings and dents in this here, but for the most part, should be pretty easy, I hope. Pretty easy project, a lot of sanding, and then a stain. So we'll get into it. Here we get some stripper. Just got this at Ace Hardware. And we start, I think it's like six or seven o'clock. Let it sit for about an hour, it gets dark, and then come out with the phone. I think it's in my mouth. And just trying to get it uh, get it off, and it's not working, so we're gonna have to do some sanding. So I scrape with a razor blade, I'm trying to just bust this up, and it's not really doing it. So we just get the vacuum cleaner and go at it a little bit. Better than wasting sandpaper. And I get as much as I can. And then we'll start with 220. Actually, I think we start with 80 grit. And then we move all the way up to 220 to 320. I don't have all of that filmed. But it requires a lot of sanding. And when you're sanding, you want to use a felt pad on the top a contour sanding pad that way you can get all the nooks and crannies here I wet it down raise the grain make sure I get all the grain up you see a little bit of that blue in the grain and water kind of helps push the grain up and then I'll hit it one more time with 320 so I sanded this down to 400 with this diamond shaped sandpaper. Turned out really well. I have the sides taped. I got one side here that's just not sticking down, but we're pretty clean and ready to apply black. I've got an old t-shirt and then Angelus sent me this low VOC leather dye. Um, I don't have black in what they sent originally. So they sent me a whole case of this other stuff. We'll try it, see how it works. With this, since I'm going to do purple, I don't need it to be super dark. I just need it to be uh, sitting in this figure in a couple spots. Slightly different smell. We'll scrape the binding later. What's good about applying this black, it's not as thick definitely tell that and since I sanded with 400 this is kind of polished slightly 
sometimes you only need 220, 320. But we want to have the black sit in a couple different spots. And purple is such a dark color that I'm going to mix it with a neutral that I have because you, you don't really need to apply that much purple it turns green. I'd say purple is the hardest color to apply. I think it looks great, but it is definitely hard to apply. Have to scrape all the binding. Really just don't want drips going down the side. We're putting two coats on to really even out the coloring. Thought there'd be a little bit more popping of the color. Surprised it doesn't look as figured as I thought it would. Now two coats, it actually looks great. That first coat didn't do it. But with two coats, it looks really good. So we'll come back with 400 grit sandpaper and we just want a little bit of black in there. It gets it to pop. So make sure that the black is all even then we'll start applying color. All right, so we're going with purple on this Les Paul. We're gonna use purple Angela Stai. We're only gonna add a little bit because we are going to use some neutral and dilute it. If you have seen my videos before, purple turns green when you use too much of it. And so we're diluting it about Two thirds neutral and about a third purple. Trust me, I have done this before. I've actually got an old rag here and now that I'm looking at how dark this is already, I'm gonna use a new rag just because this one is special. Mix this up. Usually I would use uh, cups but since i'm not in my shop and in this temporary so we're going to fast forward through the purple application as i went back and forth with the owner he wanted it not as purple but a little bit more red so not as much blue but red he didn't like it so dark once it's dry we really hit it hard with steel wool he did not like the dark. So we're gonna try and do something a little bit different here. All right, so I texted the owner and he said it was too blue, which it is. I went through and steel wooled the top, pulled some of the color out and it's definitely too blue. So what we're gonna to try to do take the purple rag and some light rose see if we can get it to be a little bit less blue and the light rose should do that now I will fully admit I have never done this before and this becomes that experimentation time and so that looks a little bit more red blue and red make purple Definitely got the red hue to it. Problem is the black is making this blue. So that is definitely redder. Especially in the center. It actually turned out pretty good. Let's do a little bit more rose on the full body, see if we can get it to fade a little bit better. Definitely made it more red. 
Is it more purple? I don't know. I am getting a lot of the purple from the rag. Still really black up there. So I thought that was a splotch and that's actually just the wood. I still have a little bit of the black on the side even from the steel wool. Definitely still have that color running through up and around. But this is definitely a little bit more redder. Oh, problem I'm running into, there's a lot of figure here. It runs out here. It's not, this isn't, this doesn't really look like a book match top. It's probably not, especially right there, now that I'm looking at this. I didn't examine it all that much, but let's do one more coat here in the center. Leave the black. This is definitely more purple with the black sides. Maybe this is it. It's not as blue. It's definitely darker. So that worked. An experiment to make it a little bit more purple worked. Let's let it sit. Let's let it dry. Let's see what the owner says. And we'll come back. So we're going to hit it with the steel wool again. Steel wool always helps just pull the top layer of color that doesn't get absorbed into the wood. And then we're going to come with some sanding sealer. Four coats of sanding sealer. First coat is very light. Next two coats are very heavy. And then we're going to put some lacquer on it. Going with some good old nitro. Again, light coats at first, heavier coats as you get on it. We're going to seal all of this up. I think I put about eight coats on here in total. Then you let it dry for six weeks, sometimes longer. Sometimes once you do a sanding, you have to apply another coat. This is that super silix dry sanding paper. This stuff is outstanding. I love it. it really works well. You run up in grit and then you take it to the buffer. And I had to borrow a buddy's buffer. Really nice buffing machine. I think this is the Stumac setup. Liked it a lot. So once it looks pretty good, we flip to the other side. This is fine. I think the other one was medium and really get a nice polish on this. Trick with lacquer is letting it dry long enough so that as you're pushing on it, it doesn't burn in. So keep the guitar body moving across the buffer. Don't stay in one spot too long. Here's the final look. What's up guys, finally got this done assembled it got it all back together got to get a new control plate the owner does it's turned out really nice from where it was at these pictures don't do it justice but i'll splice in some victory shots here as you can tell i'm in a new space hopefully we'll get some more videos going here shortly but thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video